My name is Henry Geshongwa. I'm a team manager in HESA Bredalings. I can say uh, HESA Bredalings, uh, it's, it's an academy that we started because I myself and my fellow directors, we come from this neighborhood, Ngando in Linana. Uh, our village is called Kajiji, it's, it's like a slum. So being near to Linana school, as in you were exposed to easy games, mapema, like hockey, basketball, Unapata other kids, uh, they get exposed to these games when they go to high schools. But since we've been living in close proximity to Lenana School, to go very much awareness of sports. Mm. So we've also been playing, Kiwadogo, we've played. And unfortunately, uh, unlike our Toto, we didn't have like, wale wase waneza kuja kutu sponsor, watambie e-sport, neza kupeleka e-plays, ukisa vizuri, you can get a scholarship in any of the high schools, big high schools in Kenya. So we didn't know. So we decided, since we were like in a good place, how about we start a, like a, a team and our to our community, and then we start a team with these kids and try to mentor them at least only where they can go with this hockey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so basically, my role is to ensure that everything is moving on safely and swiftly uh, in organization of the team. Make sure the coach is on time to the field to train, and the players are on the field on time, and also to ensure uh, the roles of. Uh, each and every part of the player, each and every part of the team of Hesa Bredalings is playing their part here yeah, basically, that's what I do. Okay, so basically, I mean, um, the, the role that I, that, I, that I play is for the logistic purpose, uh, like to ensure, um, do we have a game? Where do we have a game? Do we have like the alliance open? Okay, so are we invited? Uh, is the team ready to take part in the match? Uh, do we have like the logistics part of like, let's say, the, do we have to register for the Alliance Open? Do we have the money? Then it will ensure like it will run swiftly. Mm -hmm. yeah. My name is Stanley Mwangi. I am one of the directors at FESA International. Uh, the main sponsors of HESA Bredalings. So my uh, my role, uh, my main role is uh, as a mentor, and uh, basically I coordinate sometimes. As a mentor, we have uh, we have a program that uh, we do follow up uh, on the of the livelihood of the of the kids because of the where they live it is a bit harsh it is a very harsh environment from where they come from if <coughs> if the camera can roll to the my left side of the of the ground it's a village and uh, it is a illicit uh, illicit alcohol den so these kids grow up in a very harsh environment My name is Sarah Josephine Washera. Most of the kids here know me as Sarah. My role here is Nico in charge of the social media, in charge of the post, Kila and then here in charge of the girls, though to Kowengi, when you want to communicate now as Chana. So, Pia Wanga to Po. I can say a group of five girls or four. For now, four. So most of the Fridays or Wednesdays, Nendanga every okay six water, kama to natuka kama sana watano every Wednesday, naka na out na wangelesha, vitu zinendele ukuinge, ujua onse ni wadogo na ana grow, sana sana wale wamegia high school, na wangelesha studies ni muhimu, but pia wa focus na talenti yao. Yes.
Na. Mimi naitwa Moses Mwibiai na fanya kazi na Hesa Breda Link Coaching. Na mimi na hapa nilikuwa na work na hawa watoto hapa. Most tuna on Mondays, Tuesday we train on basics. Kuangalia basics ya play iko aje, kama basics zake ziko right. Vile anafaa fanye, role yake kwa pitch, position kwa ground. Alafu on Wednesday and Thursday we work on our fitness. Kwa hiyo kukitaka kucheza hoki tunafaa ukwe physical fit na ukwe na gas juu inahitaji energy. Na so tuna work on fitness 10 minutes run. Tunaanza 10 minutes run then we stretch and then tunaanza short sprints alafu tunaenda road work after tunarudi then on fridays huwa tuna play some game tunaomba friendly na lenana school tuone kama they apply their basics kama basics zao ule mwenye ameshika na bado ule mwenye inahitajika improveike and then tuangalie kama bado pia fizi wako fit kwa ground kama wanaweza wanaweza cheza four quarters kwa sababu hockey inacheza four quarters Challenges mingi the tuko nazo mingi sana most tunapata wazazi wa watoto wengine hawa cooperate na sisi maybe wataki ku kuachilia mtoto a train wengine ni watoto wanatoka shule late like time ya ku train hakuna and then tuna lack pitch uanje kuchezea tulikuwa tuna train na Lenana school since walikata so tunaenda up to tunaenda once city park mm -hmm. tuna train huko these kids uh, their parents uh, it is uh, they are, these kids go uh, go to school without breakfast others even don't eat uh, supper so it is a bit it is a, a big challenge for us there are some that uh, there are some who had started uh, doing drugs so those are the ones that we trying to put in line to instill discipline in them because one of the one of the key things that we do is discipline because that's a key thing in someone's life so with the discipline you can go anywhere <laughs> We do follow up on the livelihood of where these kids are coming from because we've grown here. You know everything about their lives because basically you know what they go through. Most of them, unapata wengine wako wana wana vlana waki train, and then wana sema ah wana vlana watatu watatu out watatu outgrow wataenda ju tuliko, and then most of them wana kwanga shai hawezi tuambia what wanataka like at home in school books but kuna wengine wako confident kenya wanataka wanakuja wanakuambia and then the uniforms walikonga na shida nazo but for now wako sawa yeah Okay, our team we it's we we sponsor ourselves. It's like 
we fund all the activities from the team. So at one only resource like we don't have the money like let's say to buy a, a good first aid kit. Same like about the cohesion alliance or the games that we are going to. Mm. You know, as in these are primary school children. One or two dogs. One is that we get injured in one way or the other because or you could. Ile kama wale ma wakubwa ni nje kwenye kwa high school. So nasa pata kama kwa hoki anaweza ingia na wrong na anaweza 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 umia. So at least kile tunafanya ngani tuna make sure tuko na hizo vitu za first aid. Ile tu kidogo tuko na zile basics kidogo. Alafu we are blessed because we have uh, one of the directors in Hesa the the academy is a uh, is a person who has gone through the St John's Nini first aid kits blah 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 my colleague standing so at least anaweza ku manage na kuanda hiyo story okay yeah. unapata sisi wasana ngine unajua kama sasa hii nimetoka job so nikitoka napata wavlana ndio wako wengi na msena kiumia haizi fanya first aid na wavlana so unatafuta tunaweza taka tu mtu atusaidie na tuka first aid ya wasana iwasaidie mm. yeah. The biggest challenge we have right now is okay you know every for every every Saturday we have to take these children to city park for the development program you know it takes resources you need to have resources for you to be able to implement that and put into place uh, so uh, these children need to okay the program starts at 9 and then it ends at around 12 So by around 8 a.m. the players are supposed to be at the field. So they need to have breakfast. You know they all come from a needy a needy background. So you it's not that they, the parents will have the breakfast. Any they're not guaranteed of a meal every day. But the good thing is about going to the city park for the development program. They are sure of having a breakfast, they are sure of having lunch and some 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 snack. Uh, so uh, you need money. So I can say we use like an an average of 8000 shillings per weekend. Mm. to finance this program so you can do that and we've gone for for the past like 21 months yeah and like i said we we don't have like a sponsor who sponsors us for these activities so we do it by ourselves so that's that's the biggest challenge we have right now the one of the key challenge is uh, is the challenges they go through at home you see there a kid will come to you and uh, with a lot of with a lot in his mind that at home there's no peace you know? uh, maybe parents are drinking too much you see they are not even paying attention to them you see those are the key those are the key challenges we are having right now the problems at home that they are the key challenges we have right now at least these kids when they come to train or they go to to city park on saturday i think it is a it is an escape for their problems at home apart from playing hockey they have other needs like they need to go to school others uh, when they open school like they're supposed to pay some money for school for for food the money is a challenge because some parents are and unemployed see so financial wise is one of the key challenge because yes mm. needs have needs okay the sanitary towers your the project in etom tani outreach every saturday a week we contribute 100 shillings we are like 15 people in a group And then every end month the 100 shillings iki accumulate tunaenda mali tunanunua sanitary towels in wholesale and then we come kuna place tuko na library tunawaangalisha huko awaambia hivi ndio hivi inafanywa hivi ndio ina inatumika and then wanaenda home but hiyo mm-hmm. yeah, imekuja kuwasaidia since unaona wengine wanakuja wanakuambia hey Sara sina sanitary towels unaweza nisaidie na yeah na mpatia mm-hmm. yeah. for the past for the past 21 months because we started this program like uh, on 2018 that's 14th of april 2018 and uh, we were fortunately enough 
to get uh, uh, the Kenya Hockey Union. They have a development program which is funded by a white guy from the Netherlands called Eric. Uh, he supports, he sponsors the whole development program in, in, in Kenya. It's the only one in Nairobi. So every Saturday we've been taking our children to the city park grounds that's in Parkland for the training. So at least we were able to get some exposure for the children, for the players and also uh, Eric, uh, the Mzungu guy that I'm talking about, uh, he saw some potential in these kids. They were very talented because the level of hockey that they had ilikuwa ile juu kidogo. Si kama wale wengine wanaenda kwanza from scratch. At least uh, these are kids when you are basics. So uh, aka decide akatombia he can sponsor us from uh, through his friends from the Netherlands to get at least some few hockey sticks and one is organized and they organize uh, was a photo a, a hockey a hockey match in Netherlands whereby uh, the children in Netherlands uh, they contributed the small amount they had and then you do when you come do to kabe yo nazo izi kids no na nazo kama izi zablo nyomeva hockey sticks shin guards shoes. Yeah, this year 2020, uh, we were privileged enough to take part in the school opens, the Vika opens, the Alliance opens, the Linana opens, and the Nairobi school opens. Uh, we were able to at least to expose our children when they're playing against the giants of the hockey in high schools, and they played very well. So uh, we won one, we won one against, we won the Vika high opens, and Linana high school, we finished at the finals where we played the round robins, but we won all the matches, but because um Vito and Brahma and then we had to play and then we can lost our finale. Tulianza na Tika Open where to emerge winners for the first time. Tukakuja Lenana opens. Tukakuja number two. Kenda Alliance High School. Tulitoka quarters. Tukakuja in Nairobi School Open. Tukakuja number three. Tuntaka kuona Hoki ya awa tuyoto, imenda juu kiasi. Naona watoto ingine maybe wanacheza under 18 Kenya team. Mini ngependa nione watu hapa wametoka. Wanachezea club kubwa kama wazalendo, butali, Kenya police. Hata wakue wengine in Kenya team kama under 18 tournament waende. Yeah. Mm. Love to one hii. Hoki ki grow, pate hata sponsors watusaidi hata pate ground ya kuchezea. Ndiyo tuwendele na hii hoki juu. Hoki ni sport haijajulikana sana, hiko chini, kiasi. So sisi tukona over 50 boys and girls. Wanataka kucheza hoki, lakini ground ndo shida. Equipment, zaku train me, kama cons, hatuna. Na sticks, ziko kidogo. In future, has uh, a brother links with Glo. We will, will be in a better place. Mm -hmm. We'll be helping these kids to go places. Uh, another thing is uh, education wise. Uh, if these kids can manage to can manage to hit the target marks for class eight, they can get scholarship. So one of the things that will be beneficial to them is education because they'll get scholarship that will ease a burden from the parent so i think the sabrina links is doing good mm. at the moment these girls most of them ni mongea nao wananiambia wanataka kuenda state house precious blood so neza sema waki focus na mtiani pia waende inja wa train waneza patikana and then mtu waneza wa the high school our side mm. from one maybe from two up to form four mm. yeah as mko mmefanya interview nini so naweza sema ah watoto ah ni wenye tumejua watu hapa kwa hii okay ni to slam ni toka jiji most of them wametoka kwa jiji hata ni wote so uh ee project imewasaidia since tulikuwa tunakuja tunapita hapa kwa nje tunaona watoto wanacheza na vijiti na tumawe and then tukakaa kidogo tukafikiria eh watoto naweza wasaidia na hoki wanaweza grow so naweza sema hii project imewatoa mbali yani itawapeleka mbali so far tuko na wavulana wanne au watatu wamepata high school mm -hmm. yeah uh, i can say uh, uh, one of the goals that we have is uh, like i said earlier uh, when we started this program uh, 
we were doing it because uh, we were in the same situation, we were the same place where these kids are, uh, but we were not given, we didn't, we were not lucky enough to get people like us to take our game to another level, to the next level. Uh, the biggest goal that right now that we have, as you know, uh, all these kids, they come from the slum. Uh, it's not easy to get a good education, let's say even if when you pass, you see. Uh, so, uh, and they're very talented. Uh, like right now I can say we have like two kids. Okay, we have four that we are currently educating. Uh, two of them, uh, one is in Hospital Hill, full scholarship. The other one is in St. Anthony's Kitale. He's also on a full scholarship. Uh, actually, the same year that he went to St. Anthony's Kitale, they were able, he was able to play the first team. And right now, they, they won't even won the, the East Africa. They were able to finish at number two in the Nationals and they went to and played East Africa. It's a good exposure to them. Uh, Mose, our coach, he is the first beneficiary, let's say in the whole of the community from Lenana, who benefited from playing hockey. And it was a teacher, Mr. Bunyasi, right now is a teacher in Hospital Hill, and he was able to spot the talent that Moses had. And he was able to take him to Parkland High School. Right now it's Dr. Ribeiro. And he underwent the whole from four, from four, from four school, uh, and the children now are looking up to him because at least they can be able to see the the good things that Hockey was able to do in his life, and that's a very good thing to us. Yeah,